Guys, we're back, and this time we have another review going on, continuing our figures from the War for Cybertron Siege Trilogy of the Transformers by Hasbro. We have here Ultra Magnus. It took me a while to get these little, this little guy right here. Well, we can't really say he's little because he is a leader class. Leader class, we'll talk about that a little later, but big shout out and thanks again to Eric John Cruz of Cybertron Philippines Head Honcho. Uh, he has given us the opportunity to get these guys a little earlier than expected before they actually hit the mall. So big shout out right there. Thank you very much, sir. Now we have Ultra Magnus, City Commander, Autobot Hero, All Out Soldier regular boy scout <laughs> he is just looking just great i mean you don't really get a lot of ultra magnus figures uh and they hardly get to nail him we'll talk about that too uh later and this is this is more of a really a, a review and ideas and comparison of different Ultra Magnuses, ultra magni i don't know uh throughout the uh, the years that Hasbro has launched their figures, so far he looks great to me. We'll talk about the good points and the bad points in a bit, but we'll just move Ultra Magnus to the side, and we'll talk about his fancy schmancy box right here. Now the box is pretty big, and it's expected for what do you call this? An ultra, or not really ultra class? I keep saying ultra class because of the name Ultra Magnus, but uh, the leader class that he is. As you can see, there is no. Uh, price tag on this one because uh, I got him from uh, uh, one of our members, or not really just a regular member, but uh, the guy that spearheads Cybertron Philippines. Uh, and yeah, so you have Ultra Magnus, is very nice artwork right there. Let's try to take a look at that. I like the artwork, looks really nice, very good detail. Right there, whoever drew that, kudos to you, sir, or ma'am, or we don't know who the heck you are. <laughs> but we have here the product shots, right there. Pretty, pretty cool. You can remove, you can remove the uh, Ultra Magnus from his armor, so uh, armor pieces right there. That's the thing. The usual box. There we go. And. Let's talk about the figure itself. Let's bring, oopsie, what's happening in my backdrop? Stay there. Try to focus. And let's talk about the figure itself. Now, this is supposed to be a leader class figure, but he feels really small for a leader, a leader class. We'll talk about that too in a bit. Now, first off, this is pretty much brand new but when I got it off the box I just noticed something that he is a little I'm not sure this is this just might be something with my figure but you see that that's pretty wobbly and this is not a third party this is not a KO this is Haztac right there this is Hasbro Takara and uh, mine is just a little flimsy Jeez. Um, not the end of the world as uh, a lot of people would say and that is true I'm just happy that I got mine. So as if, as uh, as the toy, you know, as as a toy, I'm just really happy. I mean, he he has the right color scheme. I like the very deep dark blue right there. The red and the white just really pops. I just really don't like again what they're doing with the whole siege line where they have like battle scars and whatnot. Um, but he is Ultra Magnus. And I'm just happy to have him. So, like what I said, you don't get a lot of Ultra Magnus in, you know, the the generations, the Chugs line. But that that's pretty much Ultra Magnus right there. He does look like Ultra Magnus at first glance. Anyone would just really know and point out that hey, that's Ultra Magnus right there. So, color wise, he looks fantastic. Plastic wise. He is the usual Hasbro plastic. Very nice. Articulation, Trudy Law. You could do that right there. Movement here. Swivels here. You know. Head. Not so. No tilting going down. That's pretty much what you get for the down tilt going up. Right there. Really nice. 
There you go with the wrist. Uh, a little limited because there, there's a wheel down at the back. But it's definitely in the ratchet. And there is... And there are ankle tilts, I'm sorry, not is, but are ankle tilts. There's just not one. You could do that. And the first thing that you'd see that they're already angled in such a way that you could do the split legs pose. And it's not going to be a problem. It sits flush down on your surface right there. Oopsie, what's happening with my camera again? Shaky camera. Okay, uh, weaponry... He has this blaster, really looks like the uh, old blaster that he has in the G1 cartoon. Although, as, as far as I remember, that's white. He has these cannons, like there, that you can put on his hands, like so. And, pretty cool. Although I'm not really familiar that there has been any cannons for Ultra Magnus. But, you know, they, they do some really cool reiterations of Ultra Magnus every now and then. There was that time that he had that hammer. And as far as I know, he didn't really have a hammer except for the IDW part, I guess. Uh, the rockets. The rockets. I love the rockets right there. Although it would have been cool if they were just somewhat here. But, you know, I'm not complaining. That's pretty cool to me, too. You know, just a little tad higher than what I expect. Let's go to the face. Let's try to zoom into this, the face of this guy right here. Take a look at that sculpt right there. Very nice. And like what I said, oops, it's pretty dark. Uh, I hope they listen. They, I hope they bring back the light piping because it's a darn shame you can't really see the, the light piping or the eyes on this thing. But the sculpt was fantastic. I just would have loved it that he, if he looked a little more serious. He looked kind of happy. He looks like he's half smiling. And uh, more chin. You know, Ultra Magnus had that prominent chin right there. So you could see that there are these, uh, what do you call this? Paint scraps, paint scratches. Not a fan. A lot of my friends are are doing the little customizations on that and uh, I'll probably work on it soon if I have the time so there you go really nice looking Ultra Magnus figure um, like what I said the cool part here is that he actually transforms into his regular prime like state and all of these things that you see are armor pieces. We'll talk about these armor pieces later. But let's get those things out of Magnus. So technically we're, we're, we're making him naked. We're moving in, you know, just all of his clothing and making him smaller. So all of these things that you see right there are actually Ultra Magnus's armor settings. So let's just try to remove all that. There we go. Ugh, come on, man. Elbow power, elbow grease. There you go. Jeez, my backdrop. Magnus, what you're doing? <laughs> so, we're just removing everything apart. And you'll technically just get this guy. How do you get this thing worked out? Forgot. Give me a sec. Oh, man. Oopsie, yeah, I forgot the locks right there. So there's this lock. There you go. And then I guess you could just try to open that. Uh, totally forgot how to transform this guy. It's been like two times that I've transformed him. There you go. And then just lock it in place again. There you have him. Try to zoom in. Sorry about that. And he is naked. <laughs> so comparing him, he becomes a Voyager class, as they would say, with all the pieces removed. 
they, they say that he is scaled with Optimus Prime. Let's remove all these pieces right there. Go away. Shoot. Okay. So, as you can see, Primo is a little bit bigger than Optimus Prime. And they don't really have the same mold. Um, we would see more of this mold for the Cybertron Optimus Prime that would be coming out really, really, really soon for the people out there in the States and some places the Northern Hemisphere which has gotten their Cybertron Optimus Prime uh, most likely they have the review out so you can check that out but I have a different review coming out really soon once I have mine again I'll be getting mine from uh, from Eric so you can see that they look the same they have almost similar face sculpts except for the body, the torso area. This one's a little more slim with that angular uh, angular kind of, uh, what do you call this, hip section or, or, or mid section. This one's a little chubby. I like the part that they had that blue clear plastic on his chest. Same kind of thing going on here, but with the more silver uh, on his mid section. I wish they'd done that too with Magnus. Um, it looks okay, but really like the, the silver on this guy. Uh, same fist, different kind of leg section, really chubby, really more sleek looking. So, thank you very much, Optimus. We'll have you back later. Now, one of the other things that I can't really not compare him with is another white version of Optimus Prime. Here we go with the classics. There you go. I know he's not white anymore. This guy is pretty old. It's it's your classics Optimus Prime and I had him for so long. We'll talk about uh, the other comparisons later on because they're pretty old toys. So this one has shared the, what do you call this, the usual yellowing of toys as they go by especially the white and you can see total difference from the white on his head from the white on his body he is totally getting there now the difference is that this guy has never seen armor or like an upgrade feature except for third party ones like fans project which we'll talk about a little later now if you talk about the the weight and the height of this this is very much my favorite Voyager for Ultra Magnus because this one is a really small version and if you take a look at the back the kibble section is more strategically placed making it like a backpack or a shield but this one has like a huge butt <laughs> there you go We'll talk about that later with his transformation. Now, light piping, still a plus for this guy. This one right here has no light piping or whatsoever. I like the blue that they did with the face though. That makes it really nice because, uh, you know, since uh, the, what do you call this, the toy and in the IDW, not IDW, but what do you call that? Sheesh kebab, I forgot what's the name of that comic book, but, there was this, there was this comic book that I, I read where where Magnus was blown into bits and he he rose up and he actually was the naked Ultra Magnus, this guy right here, and he had the blue faceplate. So I like that part right there. This one, very Japanese looking, very mecha looking. This one is down straight. Uh, what do you call this? Toy reminiscent from the G1 line. So two different Ultra Magnus, but you know, still something I love. Uh, forgot to put these up right here. There we go. So we'll talk about this later because we'll have him grace our video once more. Let's go back to Ultra Magnus. So we'll pause the video because we will prepare Magnus for transformation, and we'll talk about his armor pieces and how they actually work. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back. So I was fiddling around with this and I finally figured out and realized all this time you can actually bring that thing up right there. 
so doy I forgot about that and totally didn't really pay attention so you can slide that thing from here all the way up like so so my bad right there and uh, just figure that out so you can actually have him like this without his huge butt like what I told you but uh, he still has that weird kibble down his back and still uh, something that I didn't really feel so let's bring that weird butt down here and let's transform this guy so like what we did earlier um, just try to make sure that these things are moved to the side so there's a peg right there that would lock in here you could pull this thing now to the front and you see a hollow section which you could flip the whole head in close this thing back and Pretty much rotate this whole assembly like so now once you rotate that you can move this forward like that if you take a look at the cross section it moves from like that to something forward right there so you would have an area to put these hands into place so just Make sure that you see this tab right there, it would fit in the, in that section. And there you go. Same goes with this. And they would sit flush like so. Bring the legs up and lock them in place. So that's your truck mode right there. So that is the uh, cab part of Ultra Magnus right there. A little uninspired if you would tell me, or you would ask me, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is wrong with this thing? There's like a super hollow section here and I really wish that there was another wheel there. Maybe that something that would fold in. To cover that it's very reminiscent to the RID to the robots in disguise the that series before the whole trilogy and they said that it's an homage to that but still I really feel that it it could have been a lot better it could have been a little different again more silver here would make me think that this is just really the windshield and this is part of the whole uh, grill of the truck and it feels now that this is still part of the windshield so that's just a grab of mine I could still see the arms we'll talk about that later because you won't see that in a bit and uh, yeah so very exposed sections right here and like what I said it's not really that you know appealing as a single truck you know a cab mode and I've seen better cab modes in an Ultra Magnus figure specifically for the Voyager we're not we're not going to be transforming the Voyager uh, for that in this episode um, we'll talk about that later so let's leave him be because we're going to talk about these sections right here now these are all going to be the trailer of Ultra Magnus and I'm okay with it. I'm a big fan of parts forming. I'm not really sure how others would feel about that. But the first thing you want to do with this is just really un... There's a peg somewhere there. And it hooks up to this. And then just untab that. And then just unfold everything. So you get this part right here. So do the same thing here. Right? Like that. Open it. And like that. Combine these two, and this is it. You can't even open this section right here, and you can see that you have these two tilted toes, but we have a very straight looking wheel base. So, not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. I like Magnus as a robot, but I can't not, I cannot say now for his truck mode where I'm starting to just really not feel his truck mode. So the next thing you want to do is just put this whole section. This was his armor, like that. 
it was folded like this so unfold this here unfold that unfold that it's all about folding and flip it down like so and uh, I know you can unstill just try to unflip this thing here Jiminy Christmas man there you go there you go so how we do this so at the sides there would be sections where you could really just hook this thing in place you just really have to get a feel of everything there you go so see it just falls apart this thing right here will go to that I'm not sure if you're seeing it in the video and there's there you go so it's it's gonna look like that mid half like halfway and then you can just bring this whole piece back here and oh man ay, ay, ay. alrighty we're getting it we're getting it man Come on, dude. Alrighty, so there we go. There we have it. So that's that's the top and the side section of your trailer. Now for the lower section, you can get these little doodads right here. And there you go. We are going to just put them here. Or is it the other way around? Uh, let's try to figure that out. Later. There you go. So you have those now. And there you have it. There you go. And I'm going to talk about this thing right here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, going to be somewhere around here and you can bring this over there so that's that's pretty much it that's the trailer part and all you have to do is just hook it up to the thing here. I'm just trying to remember how I did that. Uh, there, there. So you see this little gray piece right here should connect to this section. And once that's there, you could then, come on man. Uh, did something weird. Yeah, it's not combining it. Um, so technically, you have the idea. It's it's like that. I'm not just pegging it right. So I'm just gonna pause it a bit and try to figure out what I'm not do and I think maybe this part right here I got it all mixed up but I'll just double check that so just give me a sec okay I'm back so apparently no that that was just really it there was really no trouble at all so once you have this truck mode you can then freely connect these rockets or missiles whatever you want to call them that side and they have so many ports, and I, I think that's just really the gimmick of that, so it's, it's up to you. I see people putting this blaster over here and positioning it like so. Um, I'm cool. I'm cool with how they want to do it, but that's not really my thing. Um, you also want to just put this little piece right here. There you go. So there you have it. That's the truck mode. This one, you know, the wheel's not really running. 
I don't know why that midsection right there is not rolling, but everything else seems to be rolling just fine. Like what I said, it's a very nice looking robot, but I'm not digging the truck mode at all. Uh, big gap right there to begin with, and I don't even get the chance to pull this section down to put my Autobot Warriors in there. And you know, the description of Ultra Magnus in the toy in the G1 is that he carries Autobot Warriors into battle, and how can you carry that if there's really no section for him to open that, that carriage part of his truck? So, defeats the whole purpose. Overall, he is pretty hefty uh, for what they call a leader class. So I'll transform him back into robot mode so we can finally do the size comparison and talk about what really makes this toy a little different, you know, a different leader class from the others that we have so far when it comes to the Ultra Magnus line. So thank you very much and we'll pause it a bit. Okay, we're back. So we got Magnus back in his robot mode. This time we placed the cannons down on his legs and still looks good. So let's try to do a size comparison. Remember this guy is a Voyager class and what we're looking right now yeah, is what they call a leader class figure from the Siege line. So yeah, size is not far off from the regular Voyager class that we had back in the uh, back in the classics line. So as you can see, the only thing that's making this guy smaller is because this guy is a tad higher and you have the smoke stacks or the elbow stacks or the arm stack, whatever stacks you want to call them, but they're stacks. So, um, but they're not far off, I mean, when it comes to size. This one's a, you know, a little heavy, this one is a lot heavier, this is chunkier, this is a lot, you know, heftier in plastic, but size-wise they're not far different. Now, let's put Optimus Prime into the mix and you would definitely see how small the Voyager class now is compared to the current leader class of the Siege line. So they're making things a little more smaller yet expensive. Uh, by the way, Magnus is uh, selling it around, if I'm not mistaken, around 3,000 pesos here in the Philippines. And uh, he asked me if that's still a hefty price for something that small. But I am happy to pay for that because he is, again, Ultra Magnus, something that everyone must have. So let's get rid of Prime for a bit and let's get rid of Voyager class Ultra Magnus. Thank you very much. You're still my fave. Um, now, I'm not saying it's all bad, because remember, we've seen some very crazy-looking size uh, class for Magnus back then. So this is his first incarnation in the same line for the trilogy, which is, I believe, uh, what do you call this, uh, War for Cybertron, or something about the Cybertron line. So this is the first, if not the second one. And this is a deluxe figure of Magnus. You know, can you think of Magnus being a deluxe figure? And that's just really, I don't know, that was a joke. I just got him because he's Ultra Magnus. And compared to this guy, I'd really like this guy versus this guy right here. So, still something. So, very small Magnus. Oops, he fell. Let me just get that guy out of there. And comparing him to a third party or a knockoff or whatever you want to call them these days because this is MFT's take on Ultra Magnus and these two guys you know are super small look at this this is the MFT a little dusty and this is the Hasbro one but the size is just really different still towering them is the leader class siege figure which is still looking good compared to any of these oopsie any of these fi figures right there so let me just try to remove that remove these guys now i guess the reason why i'm just really having a gripe with size is because i've seen and i have experienced how ultra magnus would look like in a real leaders class sense 
and let me just try to compare that with this right here and that is your leader class combiner wars ultra magnus there was a time when uh combiner wars ultra magnus was a very sought after figure until he went on sale so <laughs> everybody has a leader class ultra magnus by now and i did a little uh, upgrade on this guy so it took the rockets or the missiles from the mft toy placed with a cog and then placed some other guns and placed that but so he's he's a pretty beefed up ultra magnus and we'll talk about this guy in the future because this has the knockoff or the ko upgrade parts for a smaller ultra magnus this was the uh what do you call this the kubian kubian bow um take on perfect perfect effects ultra magnus so you can see that this is so tall than this guy this is a leader class this is a leader class and both just differ in size this dwarfs i mean this dwarfs this version right there you would say that this is a voyager class and this is a leader class now when it comes to weight this is a lot lighter except for the fact that i have now uh, beefed up this guy and placed some upgrades on him and and he's a little more heavier but compared to the original thing this is lighter this is chunkier now what they're saying is that I'd rather get the more heavier plastic than this guy but still I mean you would you would know that Ultra Magnus was never a small figure he was a tall Autobot warrior and uh, maybe that's the reason why I'm just really having the size gripe right there so if you would ask me would you still throw away this and get this guy i'd say have both you know you can always have both i wouldn't really give up this ultra magnus face wise i like this guy because he has that that robert was it robert stack that voice this guy I forgot uh that very prominent chin that stoic look that i'm a soldier prime look and this one's a little too happy for me so there you go. Now I'm putting this guy into the mix to really complete the comparison because this is, let me just try to move this guy here. This is not a leader class, but this is the upgrade for, there you go, a very old upgrade. It's the uh, Fans Project upgrade for Ultra Magnus, for Voyager class Ultra Magnus, for technically for this guy right here. So, even the upgrade is bigger than this guy right here. So, if you're asking me when it comes to size, I think Ultra Magnus can do a little better when it comes to size. This one's a very old figure of mine. It's still something close to my heart. You can see it's loose. It's still something that an Ultra Magnus fan would definitely or should definitely have. So let's put these guys down at the back so we can see how it towers over this guy right here. Let's put all of them to the side. There you go. So, final words. Um, the Siege Ultra Magnus has a beautiful color, has really nice uh, heavy plastic, a uh, very good, what do you call this take on, a very good modern take on Ultra Magnus and it's something that I would definitely recommend. But if you're talking about size and you're talking about how big Ultra Magnus should scale, I think you should still keep your fans project uh, upgrade kit and your Combiner Wars upgrades for Ultra Magnus. And he is a nice additional piece to your Ultra Magnus line. and. He is out now here in the Philippines. I'd probably give him, you know, a, an 8 out of 10. Uh, you know, that's just really me. It's not going to go any higher than that. But still, he's a lovely piece. He has something for you to get. So get him now. So again, if you like this video, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, please do not forget to leave your comments down below. Hit that like button. Thank you very much for watching. Again, my name is Chompy, and remember, till all are one, peace out. Rock and roll.